cover modern models for survival purposes, the good, the bad, and the ugly, especially this ginormous one that I'm holding here and why I have it. And my name, if you don't know me, is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. And make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz. Anyways, let's just get down to business. So the reason I have this ginormous water bottle is over the summer I had two kidney stone surgeries. If you've never had kidney stones before, you'll wish you were dead. They hurt like a son of a gun. It's absolutely horrible, especially if you're a male and they put a stent in your private parts, which is among the worst things of all. But anyways, so I had two kidney stone surgeries and then afterwards they give you this jug and you're supposed to pee in it for 24 hours. And then you send it to some lab, they evaluate it and say, here's all the stuff you gotta do to make sure you don't hopefully get kidney stones again. And amongst the things they told me is I need to drink more water. Even though I drink a lot of water, I really hardly ever drink soda, I'm a water guy, but apparently I was not drinking anywhere to the correct amount of water uh, that I was supposed to. So the doctor told me, hey, you should start drinking 80 ounces of water each day. Well, my wife had one of these cups and I think it was around 40 ounces. And she said, why don't you just take one of my cups and all you have to do is fill it up twice a day, two 40 ounces, and it fits in your fits in your vehicle, uh, coupled and all that. But of course, me being the wiser one, said, hey, I'm just gonna knock this out. I'm gonna buy an 80 ounce uh, container, somewhere around 80 ounces. That way I just fill it up once and I know exactly what I've gotta carry and drink throughout the day. So I went online and I found this bad boy. 87 ounces to be exact. Now. Am I carrying this around? Of course not. I'm not walking around with this when I go to the gym or every day. So don't tell my wife, but she was right. I'm gonna use a smaller one and fill it up a few times a day versus walk around with this huge thing that nobody really wants to carry around. So what am I gonna do with this? Well, in the back of my car, I have my vehicle survival kit. It is a huge bag, different from my bug out bag. So my bug out bag is a backpack, also in the back of my car. And my bug out bag does have food and water and knives and water filters and all that. And if I have to go out on foot, I just throw it on my back and obviously I can walk away. My vehicle survival kit is like the kitchen sink and everything else. It's got a ton of stuff. So it still has food, water, knives, but it's just a large bag that if I have to bail out and go on foot, I'm not taking that because it's way too heavy to carry. I'm taking my bug out bag. And inside my vehicle survival kit, I have a water bottle. It's a metal, metal water bottle but it's a lot smaller. It's probably about half the size of this thing here, probably about a 40 ouncer. And the reason you wanna have that, and especially make sure it's metal, don't have something plastic or rubber or any of that, is so you can cook with it in an emergency situation. So if you need to start a fire, let's say, let's say you have something like the survival blaze, which is fire rope, so it starts fire in all kinds of conditions, if it's wet, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in your bug out bag, in your vehicle survival kit, you've gotta have ways to start a fire. The survival blaze, matches, the Bic lighter, always have a Bic lighter, make it easy on yourself. Uh, dryer lint, so have several ways to start a fire. Then you can put this over the fire, your metal bottle, your metal container, and you can boil water. So if you need to get fresh water, if you gotta scoop it out of a pond or a stream, whatever, you should always have some type of water filter. This is one of the ones I have, my surf filter. So obviously I have one type of water filter but if for some reason your water filter broke or you can't find it or it's not there, you can boil water. So have a good rolling boil for about 10 minutes in here, and then you can drink that water, obviously after it cools down. In addition to being able to boil water with this thing, which is now, by the way, going in the back of my vehicle survival kit, because I'm not carrying it around, like I said, so I will just add to the other one that I have in there. But in addition to being able to boil water, I can of course cook meals. So when it comes to food, I love the survival food pouches. Uh, this right here is, in my humble opinion, the best survival food on the planet. If you want to see why, especially the flashlight tests and the durability tests and all that, go to spyfoodstorage.com. You're going to be shocked what you learn. Uh, but seriously, check out, check out spyfoodstorage.com and see why it's the food that I trust with my family. So I love these pouches. They're portable. I can throw in the back of my bug out bag in the back of my vehicle survival kit. Then in an emergency situation, I can pour this in here after I've got the water boiling, after the water is hot, I pour, it, pour this in here and I can boil this food. So let it cook for 10, 15 minutes, whatever you wanna do. In an emergency, you wouldn't have to cook it that long because it's still gonna be edible, you're still gonna be able to eat it, but cook it 10 minutes if you can. So I can cook food using my metal water bottle, such as this ginormous one that, again, I can't believe I bought this, but don't tell my wife that she was right. 
way too big, 87 ounces. So that is another reason to have one of these for cooking water, for cooking food, just makes life easy in an emergency. So in the back of your car, you should have a, just keep throwing stuff in there. I mean, you're, again, it's a vehicle survival kit. You're not gonna throw it over your back and walk out with it, but the more stuff you have, the better. Of, of course, including your jack, including your air compressor, which I've had to use to, well, pump up my kids' bike tires all the time, but also pump up uh, vehicle tires and everything else. So the moral of the story today is, listen to your wife when she tells you to get a smaller water bottle, because you're not gonna want to carry around a ginormous water bottle like this, but also have some type of metal container in your vehicle survival kits, in your bug out bags. Obviously, it doesn't have to be this big. That way you can boil water, that way you can cook food and all of that stuff. Again, I'm former CI officer Jason Hansen. Make sure you click below so you can see my complete vehicle survival kit, all the stuff I have in it. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Don't forget to subscribe.